hi guys welcome back to my channel today I am doing a shipped order um, I'm only doing one at the moment um, because it's a high paying order and I'm ready to go back home like I don't I didn't feel like working long today so um, so yeah I figured I you know see videos all on YouTube on people doing ship shopping when I first signed up when I was waiting on like my shirt to come in and all that stuff. So when I was waiting on my stuff to come in, I was like frantically watching um, other ship shoppers, YouTube channels um, and, and all that stuff, just talking about what they do with shipped, how much money they make and all that stuff. So this is a really big order. So I figured this is the perfect time to take you guys with me. I'll have a lot of time. Like I don't even have to deliver the order until anytime between five and six, it's three o'clock right now. But I know it's going to take me a while. And I like to have extra time. So to, to make sure everything's right. So the first thing I'll tell you guys. Is when you sign up for Shipt, um, They'll do a background check. You'll go through the interview process. Which is on the phone. You like, um, Not like on the phone with somebody. But like it's on your phone. You record yourself answering questions. Things like that. Once you get accepted. I got accepted within like two days. But it was right when my metro opened up. So I got accepted really fast and I knew my background check was going to come clear, like all that stuff. You don't take a drug test or anything. But my sister, she started doing ship. She moved down here in September, a few months after um, it came out in this city. And it took her for, I mean, her background check came clear, but it took her like two weeks or like three weeks to get accepted. It was some, it was a while. Anyway, so once you get accepted, they're going to send, ship sends you um, a free t-shirt which I'm not wearing right now. Um, I've worn, I actually, this is the first time I'm, I haven't worn my ship shirt while doing a ship order. You don't have to, they prefer you to. Um, mine was just dirty and I was not expecting to take this order. So they're gonna send you your t-shirt in your size and a debit card that, uh, or like a ship card. I wouldn't even call it a debit card because you can only use it for your orders. Um, and so what happens is you can put yourself on the schedule anytime, any day, you know, any metro area. So my city, I live in Augusta, but there's multiple cities around me that do ship. So it's Augusta, North Augusta, Aiken, um, Grovetown, Evans, and that might be it. The city I'm going to, I usually never put myself on the schedule for, but it was a metro open order. So what that means most people honestly from what i've seen do not put themselves on the schedule for this city because it's very far away and um most of the time it's not worth driving for whatever you're going to earn but um what a metro open order is is say an order you know is just like too big for you or um it's too far of a drive like this is a pretty decent drive that i'm taking but I'm gonna make over $20 on it. Anyway, so what a Metro open order is, is that say no one accepts the order, they go through a list of people, like they, they offer the job to multiple people, no one's accepted it, people aren't on the schedule, like there's, I mean, there's a multitude of factors. Usually it has nothing particular to do with the order, it just happens to, to how the cookie crumbles, you know? <laughs> and so, it goes on metro open order so even though i didn't put myself on the schedule for this city if it goes on metro open orders it's open to anyone who can grab it fast enough the order is over 150 dollars which is a lot um and it's at a Publix. um some of you watching probably don't even have a Publix in your state i know it's more of like a south thing southern thing whenever you're ready to leave you open your app and you go to your order um and what you do is there's an address to the store and um, you're gonna click on that address and it's gonna pull it up in your GPS and it takes you right to the grocery store you're supposed to go to and then um, from there once you've done the whole order which I'll show you guys that whole process in just a minute and then you're gonna click on another address and again I'll show you all that too you're gonna click on another address and it's gonna take you to their house so I'm gonna end this portion of the video and I will be back to show you guys how the grocery list works and all that stuff. We're here. 
So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like before we get in because I know it's gonna be way harder to show you. But here's what it looks like. So then you'll go to shop order. And so she's got 46 items. It might be a he, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a she. And when you click on it, it's gonna show you what it should look like. The count, green beans, things like that. Lots of fresh stuff. If you it collapse it, there it kind of divides it up. It doesn't tell you what aisle everything's on, but it'll tell you. So you always obviously want to do like, okay, I'm probably gonna do kitchen and dining first because none of that can get you know hot or cold you know sitting in the buggy then i'll probably do baby beverages snacks pantry international produce and then meat and seafood and dairy which i know seems backwards but that's how i like to do it is try to just do it to where the food's not gonna go bad so let's go guys. so they're very crowded today and yeah so it's a lot going on, but it's okay. Let me get it. So, what you want to do once you find an item, obviously, you want to make sure it's not like dented up or messed up. You're going to scan the barcode. And it says that this is not the right one, but it is. So, sometimes that happens, and you just said add a cart anyway, but I'm going to double check. Sometimes it can be the wrong one. Okay, so this should scan. Yep, see, it did. So then you just throw it in your cart. And yeah, so see, I'm doing the cleaning products first. So we got two products down out of 46. Next is Windex cleaner. Somewhere down here. So yeah, it's pretty fun because I, sometimes I want my headphones in and just listen to music while I do this. And you know, you could just, as long as you know what you're doing and you pay attention, it is fun. It's relaxing. Okay, guys. So, I just... Well, I'm not finished. I still have to deliver everything. However, I swore half the things I was looking for was not on the shelves. Like, it was in stock, but they weren't restocked, if that makes sense. Like, they were in the store, but they were in the back. So, for, like, at least ten items, I had to ask for them to go to the back, get me some more... Um, there was one item that, or actually two or three items that were just completely not there. And that gets frustrating, A, because you don't want someone to, you know, they're, they want, they're, you know, expecting you to be able to get those things. And then when you can't get them for them, you know, you text them and say, hey, like, do you want me to substitute? Or like, this is completely out of stock, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of times the customers who are ordering their groceries when they rate you they'll rate you as like missing items and you're only supposed to do that if I like forgot something at the store and didn't act say you ordered 10 bags of chips and I only came back with eight and I didn't tell you like they don't you know what I'm saying things like that a lot of times they'll just say that because you know I wasn't able to get those items but they don't understand that it's like not my fault kind of thing so that's frustrating so hopefully this you know whoever this is doesn't do that because it's happened to me before and I emailed and I was shipped and I was like hey like I definitely didn't forget anything and they're like you know sometimes it's just they don't realize it's the store's fault um so I feel bad when I have to substitute even if like some things like she asked for wipes and the only difference and I have to message them to substitute because the app physically won't scan it you have to scan everything or substitute it to be able to check out that's another thing um and so like she wanted the ones on the app said a 72 count of this brand of wipes huggies and they have the exact brand the exact wipes but it was a 64 count so the app isn't physically gonna scan it so at that point even though I know most people are gonna be completely okay with substituting with that because it's the same thing it's just like eight less wipes or however many less um I still have to text them and it just sucks like having to text people so hopefully I'll be at her house with 10 minutes to spare so I was shopping for like two hours um and it was very crowded you know Thanksgiving is coming up but I hope she's satisfied I hope um she's very happy because I tried my hardest trust me she, I'm there for two hours 
walking up and down the aisles I swear sometimes I am just blind like I physically like will look up and down an aisle a hundred times and it'll be there but I don't see it also sometimes in the app the pictures aren't the same as they um they look in person so anyway so that's pretty much it guys I'm gonna deliver these I can't videotape that part um but I'm gonna deliver them and I'll let you guys know how much I made so actually her order didn't end up being 180 something like we like it you know calculated um the special price saving she saved 17 dollars i'll actually be making less than i expected but that's okay I'll give you guys an update when we okay deliver. guys so i'm already back home um i delivered with three minutes to spare well when i pressed delivered um i had three minutes before it was six o'clock when i had to have it delivered so and then i had to use gps to get home so i wasn't as worried about recording but i will tell you she gave me a five dollar cash tip that was the first tip i've ever got paid in cash which was kind of nice so you don't have to wait a week and a half to get paid for that and then i made sixteen dollars and twelve cents off of it now it says order pay and promo so maybe i did get a promo pay i'm not sure she hasn't rated me yet so what happens is um once you you could see your stats. I could see my stats for all time. I know it's backwards, but um, my average rating is a 4.7. I've been 100% on time for all of my orders, and I have a 90% acceptance rate. So what the acceptance rate means is how often I accept an order when I'm on the schedule. Um, so people with the highest rating and the highest acceptance rate and the high, like all of those factors go into who gets the order first. So new people with a 5.0 rating they're going to get offered orders first and then it just keeps going down the ladder until then it goes to metro open orders so then that's all time and then you scroll over and that is the last 14 days which i hadn't done an order in a while i um, until today so she if it says na that means she hasn't rated me yet and then again it's last 50 orders because some people have done like thousands of orders it does the average which mine's still the same so you can also check your delivery history so sometimes say like um, this has happened to me twice um, say I do an order this week and say the lady didn't pay me a tip in person say she she paid online but she um, say she doesn't open her app again for another two weeks because um, that's what happens usually if someone wants to tip you they won't even think about it until they reopen their app and the app the app says how would you rate Elizabeth do you want to tip her so sometimes like I'll get paid for the order itself one week and then they'll tip me a week later and then I'll get paid for that tip a week later so there's been two weeks where I've only been paid five dollars and that's because they tip me five dollars um, a week later so you can see all your delivery history for the weeks you can't like oh yeah you can so you can see like the order, um, like the information. You can't see like their phone number or their address anymore or like what groceries they got. But you can see what time you delivered, how much the order pay was, the tip, everything like that. So honestly guys, if you are someone who wants to make an income like on your own time like I said sometimes I'll listen to headphones I'll have my headphones in in the store I can like chew my gum like I remember when I would work regular jobs and I couldn't chew gum you couldn't listen to music like that's why I like this so much and you can set your own schedule I am a full-time um beauty guide um when I'm not doing this and this is just good if I'm want to get out the house if I'm bored if I have extra time if I want some extra money this is something you know I really like to do it's free to join I will have my referral code in the comments if you guys sign up or not in the comments I'll have it in the description and I probably will pin it in the comments if you guys want to become a um, ship shopper actually also when you become a ship shopper you get a free subscription for the year so um, say you want to you know you do deliveries all week and then it comes to going grocery shopping for yourself and you're just tired or if there's a day when you get off your nine to five and you're like I don't want to like go grocery shopping 
you have a free membership you do have to pay like either um if the order's under thirty five dollars you have to pay like a delivery fee or um you know you might want to tip your driver but you won't have to pay for like the yearly subscription um for the service you know what i'm saying like i said all my referral code in the description and if you guys sign up for shipped let me know if you use my link or my code or whatever in the comments let me know if you've got accepted if you're already a ship shopper let me know how you like it um i really do like it i don't really have any complaints um that's pretty much it hopefully if you guys want to see me do more shopping with me i'll get better at vlogging in, in the store it's kind of like scary and especially when i'm looking for groceries like i don't want to focus too much on the camera but if you guys want to see more videos like this please let me know make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you enjoy this video turn on the bell notifications next to the subscribe button there is a bell you want to turn that on so you get notified when I upload sometimes even then it still doesn't work so you want to make sure you definitely have it on so if it does work you'll get notified um and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time bye <laughs>